Hi, it's Randy from Randy's Crypto and Farm Phone Farming. Anyway, this is my crypto, one of my crypto machines. My T3500 has decided it's going to blow its power supply. So I'm going to have to change the power supply and uh, I guess, um, yeah, that's what we'll be doing today. So this is my Dell 35 T3500. Precision. Get it in there. Show you what it looks like on the outside. Anyway, as I said, my power supply has decided to die. So I'm going to replace the power supply today. First, I got to take all the screws off from the power supply, which I've already done. And that's just these four screws right here to release it. Dell's a pretty easy fix. Pretty easy to fix the power supply. As you can see, I've got my two uh, GPUs. You want to remove all the power, the old power cords. Yes, it is really dusty. Apparently, I should clean it more often. So, um, I've removed the power. Of course, you gotta get the DVD. And then, if you can see this or not. I do the 24 pin out of there. As you can see where it is. Okay, so that's removed. Uh, this power supply. Um, let me just get some out of there. Let's see if I can. So maybe you can see. As you can see, there's a cluster down here. It comes off the power supply. There's two clips, one up top, one on bottom. And it just comes off once you've got the two clips, as you can see, one at the top and one at the bottom. So now the power supply is free. There's a blue tab at the bottom here. If you can see. Blue tab at the bottom here that you want to push. And it'll come out when you're pushing it with one hand. Okay, so like I said, you push the blue tab down and then you pull it back. This releases it. Toss that sucker because it's dead. Now the problem is, is the Dell T3500, the Dell installers or creators, builders of the box, did a really good job of keeping everything in there. As you can see though. There is a cluster, a wire cluster that runs under the motherboard. Because I'm pretty lazy and I don't want to pull the whole motherboard out, I'm just going to snip the wires. One more thing that you're going to have to remove to put the new power supply in. is this little thing down here. Which is one more, and it's an eight pin. So I gotta have really good small hands. Luckily, I was inherited my mom's hands. Okay, so now, as I said, the clusters run under the motherboard, and uh, I'm pretty lazy, so I'm just going to snip the wires on either end of them of the motherboard just to clean it up. 
Now it's not always recommended that you snip the wires to get rid of it, but they will be dead wires. So then you should be able to, hopefully, come back to this side of it. Should be able to just pull them out. There's that blue cluster. And hmm, it has become snagged. So I'm not going to play too much around with it because I don't want to take anything off the bottom there. So I would recommend if you're going to do my method, don't uh, don't um, pull because you might hurt something on the motherboard. So I'm just going to snip those wires. And that's that part of the cluster off. Now there's USB, which as you can see. SATA cables, power cables that are on the hard drives. So we're just going to snip those off as well and see if they'll come through. I'm showing you the right thing. Yes, these blue cables, they're the SATA cables. Or they're the, uh, yeah, SATA. Anyway, they're for the to for the data that comes here to the motherboard so make sure you don't remove those to try to pull them pull them through the motherboard or under the motherboard And of course, they're going to give me grief too. So they're just going to get snipped as well. And we'll just leave them under the motherboard. So the whole cluster should come out now. And as you can see, there's still from the power connectors and from the motherboard 8 pin power supply so now we'll put in the new power supply this is one that I had as everybody has a boneyard and so this is just a it's a 300 watt so we'll stick that in there hopefully it will fit in nicely Pay attention to where your um, to where your to where your screws are going to go, and this does not have the same. Slide. This does not have the same slide type that the Dells have, so I'm just going to have to put the screws in and hope for the best. Maybe even cable it or something like that. But let's start hooking things up here. So you've got to hook your back your 24 pin. This, if you get one of these, this is the one to go in first because this will hold it. So there you go. 24 pin is in. Let's put our 8 pin in. You can see the, the 
here. My cats and dogs have decided, I guess. Remnants of the hair. That's my handy dandy dust machine. Totally organic. Anyway, so I'm looking at this here. I gotta put my eight pin in. Which, of course, none of these has. Luckily, out of my boneyard, I have adapters. Now this one that I have has a Molex and just a four pin to that eight pin that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna stick that eight pin in. So now I need to find a Molex. Molex, yes, Molex. Cable for that power. And a handy dandy four pin to match the other four pin. Once again, tab to tab. That's the power on the motherboard. So now I'm going to find a screwdriver and some screws. And the I put actually the motherboard power in first because then I can move the power supply around if I have to. Now I usually just do the screws in lightly just to make sure that they're going they're grabbing once they're all grabbing then i'll snug it up so now the power supply has been secured i'm going to want to hook up my gpus now obviously so one of these cords there you go has a six pin. I'll stick that in. Okay, so now we got the GPUs hooked up. It's just like a kid when I was a toy, a toy when I was a kid. How come there's extra parts here? Anyway, this is, these are, uh, we'll be hooking those up to, and that's a Molex. We wouldn't be using that anyway in the SATA system. So we'll hook these up to the hard drives. Fire it up. And now the moment of truth. But we do have windows.